Hi guys, Mary here. I wanted to come to you today because, well, hopefully you can hear me. I haven't gotten my new microphone yet. Um, and sometimes I talk quietly because I run a guest house and um, my Reiki room where I do my videos is near the guest room, so I try to be quiet. <laughs> it's usually in early in the morning. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened yesterday. I did a Reiki treatment on two people. Now, I don't do Reiki frequently here because where I live, um, it's just not used <laughs> um, as much as other areas of the country. So, um, I did a Reiki treatment for two of my guests um, yesterday. and. It just really brought me so much hope, so much faith in the future, because um, as I was doing the Reiki treatment, I actually witnessed angels come in, <clears throat> both times, and the angels were working on my clients, and I usually feel the angels, but I've never seen the angels in that way, like that many, um, just surrounding my client. I mean, I was giddy from it. It was amazing. And um, I have seen angels before, but usually in large groups of people where everyone's meditating together. Um, so anyway, I was just blown away by it. It was a great experience. And then um, I went up to my bedroom, and I was messing around with my iPad, which is broken. And um, so the iPad goes in and out, moves around, it's like typing stuff, I'm not touching it, I don't know what's happening. Uh, but it actually put itself on a YouTube channel and then started playing this song um, on the YouTube channel. And I'm going to put a link to it below because it's so beautiful and it's not anything I would look for, um, but now that I I've listened to it. I just absolutely love it. So, um, the song was um, The Angels Are Listening, God Is Listening, I Am Listening. It's like, um, it's from an event, like a Satnam event. Um, totally random. I did not put it on, but when I heard it, I was like, this is not a coincidence. I was meant to hear this. This is bringing me hope, you know. The angels are listening. God is listening. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it was not a coincidence. It happened, and it really lifted me up, and I just wanted to share that with you, with you all. So keep praying, keep meditating, keep talking to your angels, your spirit guides. They're listening. And just know that this whole 3D reality is not real. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It, uh, you know, this free will experiment on the planet that we're all part of, that we got kind of trapped in the matrix. That's what this whole thing is about. We're integrating into our higher selves. We're ascending so many words to call it, but what it all boils down to is um, we are evolving as a species and um, everything that's happening, it's all divinely orchestrated. Um, you can't play your way out of this game or off this game board um, as Sri of Sri and Kira often says. You have to rise above it. You really do. You have to know. When you have that higher knowledge, when you have that knowledge of what's really going on, it helps you to deal with the daily struggles, you know, the paying the bills, uh, feeding your kids, going to, um, taking them to school, taking them to daycare, going to the job. You know what? Just rise above that 3D reality. Know that it's all an illusion. And um, we're evolving on the planet, and the angels are helping us. They're helping each and every one of us. 
just remember that um, we forgot. We got, we got programmed into this matrix, programmed into You know, by not being aware of our thoughts, we were manifesting things that we didn't really want. But now that we know we're manifesting um, and we're evolving, we know our own power, right? That's what they didn't want us to know. But now we are coming into our own power as masters. We are our own masters. And um, I know this sounds like rambling, and maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm just so, so lifted. And uh, anyway, if you are watching this video, you're probably going through the ascension process, probably going through an awakening stage. You're here on the planet at this time for a reason, and it's to help others to go through this ascension. Um, if people around you are saying, you know, my ears are ringing, I don't know why, talk to them. Um, you know, don't, like, annoy them. Um, but if they seem willing to listen to um, what's going on, you know, maybe you can be of assistance. That's what I'm trying to do here. And, um, anyway... Uh, let's see, what do I have for time? Six there. Okay, so I have time to pull a card. This is from the Cards of Clarity from Sri and Kira. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Sri and Kira, S-R-I and Kira, K-I-R-A, are a couple that are on YouTube. And I've been following them for about three or four years now. And they have a lot of helpful information about Ascension. You can find their website at sreenkira.com. They have a lot of free stuff. Okay. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. So of all the cards in the deck, the Ascended Master St. Germain came out. St. Germain has been helping us with the purple flame. He's been helping us through this awakening process for many, many years. Um, if you don't know who he is, just Google him. But um, very nice that St. Germain came out um, for the first card for the reading today. So I think I'm very grateful he is here with us and helping us through the awakening process, the ascension process evolution for humanity. This is good stuff, you guys. Co-create. We are co-creating. So we're creating our own reality through our own thoughts, deeds, actions, words. Um, but we're also co-creating as a collective, so you have to keep that in mind. One of the things I realized when I was doing um, readings on the Trump administration, I realized I was becoming part of that fear, that collective of fear, and I realized that that was a mistake. Um, even though I was trying to give hope to people, um, I realized that I was just becoming part of that fear-based reality, and I don't want to do that anymore. Um, so we are co-creating, um, and so our thoughts come together and co-create our world. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. So just keep that in mind as you um, go throughout your day and, and your life that um, we are all co-creating this together. <clears throat> so um, it's important to know that because you may think that you have very little... Um, do with what's going on on the planet, but you actually have a lot to do with it. Your thoughts create reality, not just for yourself, but as part of the collective. Feel peace, feel harmony. This is Archangel Raguel. It says, thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life with harmonious light. I don't know if you can see this card. 
but um, you are the light. You, if you're watching this channel, you're a light worker. It's important that you're here on the planet at this time. Shine your light. How do you do that? You um, start with your heart um, by opening your heart. You anchor in that heart. You lead from your heart. You live from your heart. You know, that's your light. So you meditate, you pray, you ask the angels for assistance, and just say, please help me to shine my light today. That's all you have to do. And then you affect people as you go throughout your day, and you don't even realize it, but you do. There's a change in direction, there's a change on the planet, we're going through a transformation, we're going through this awakening process, uh, and we're all waking up at different you know, different times, different um, stages, I guess you could call it. But we're all going through it. And I feel like my last few days have been all about purging, bringing up stuff from my past that I really thought I had dealt with, but apparently not. And I just did a lot of cord cutting ceremonies. Um... And now I just feel a lightness, so um, I hope that you guys are feeling that as well. You and I, the planet, we are all like a phoenix rising out of the ashes. A new beginning, a new way of thinking, a new way of being. Um, it's a resurrection. It's a beautiful thing. So... Um, Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels. Yeah, so if you need assistance, shoot me an email, thelighthousemedium at gmail.com, or just go to my contact page at thelighthousemedium.com. All one word, thelighthousemedium.com. If you need help, um, I'll do my best to answer any emails that you have. And... Um, try to assist you. And there's lots of great channels out there if you need help. Just be discerning. If it resonates with you, you'll know it's true. All right, this is Lady Venus, Downloads and Understanding. So I actually felt a download come in last night. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but if you're feeling tingling in your head, if you're feeling pressure in your head, you're being downloaded with information. You're being downloaded to the new way of being. Um, your, your DNA, um, your cells are changing, your DNA is changing. Um, this says, truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So when you're sleeping at night, your body's asleep, but you're actually working. You're doing the work and um, you're being downloaded with information so that... Um, we're all waking up as a collective. You'll notice the kids that come in ever since 2012, they already have this new DNA, this new way of being. We're just playing catch up here, um, us old people. <laughs> so anyway, I know how crazy this sounds, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm just putting it out there. I'm out of the closet. I am putting out my spiritual truth. So if you resonate with this, um, Thank you so much. Please stay with me. I'll try to bring you as much information as I can. Um, but this is who I am. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a great Sunday. Take care.